hybrid vehicles are playing a key role in the complex logistics plan developed for COP30, including armored units used to transport high-level officials. The operation was made possible through partnerships that supplied almost 300 vehicles, most of them from the Chinese automakers GWM and BYT. The head of partnerships for COP30 says feedback from users has been overwhelmingly positive. The plan was to go to the, to the key uh, automotive companies and ask them to become partners at COP, not only partners providing cars, but also helping us to uh, spread this message to build a, a more just world in terms of the, of the climate uh, agenda. So, uh, and we found in the Chinese brands such as BYG and, uh, and GWM, uh, Great Wall, uh, partners in this full agenda. The initiative also reflects the growing news of electric vehicles in Belém. This travel agency owner bought his first company EV about a year ago and says he was immediately drawn to the technology. André da Silva now drives one himself and has leased several more to transport clients during COP30. I moved from a combustion car to a 100% electric one and it was a love at the very first acceleration. At the Berlin Docks, GWM showcased another technological trend increasingly linked to electric mobility and demonstrated its ability to power an entire ship. Hydrogen fuel cell systems that generate electricity. They could help address one of the key challenges for electric vehicles, reducing the carbon footprint associated with producing the power needed to charge them. When you talk about electrification, the world, uh, the hydrogen can provide it, uh, on board electricity for the, uh, the electric vehicles, for example. When the people said that hydrogen is the future, you can see here it's not the future, it's here, you can use. As nations renew their efforts to tackle climate change, the wide presence of electric and hybrid vehicles on the streets of Belém offers delegates a visible reminder that these technologies can be an important and very comfortable part of the solution. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, Belém, Brazil.